Howdy everybody, I'm Sam Feifel, I'm the editor of Workboat.com. I'm here at the International Workboat Show 2012 in the lovely city of New Orleans with Jeff Sherman. How you doing, Jeff? Doing well, Sam, and yourself? I'm doing great. So MDU, obviously here at the Workboat Show, you got something new to tell the people about. What's, yep. the, what's, the, what's the big new engine? Well, we're introducing our Tier 3 Series 4000, which is our workboat engine. It's a uh, third generation Ironman, as we call it. And uh, we're here to tell you that the changes for us on the Tier 2 to Tier 3 are very minimal. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in cylinder components, uh, third generation common rail fuel system, and uh, the technology that we employ to make Tier 3, we've been doing since 1997 with just some refinements. And so while our, our competitors are entering new technology, we're just enhancing ours. Sure. And so we're really excited to be here, and, and this is the debut of the Tier 3 for us. And we see some real good opportunity going forward in uh, the inland rivers and the, the Gulf, uh, Gulf business as well as the coast. Sure. You talk about, you know, minimal changes. Yep. People, you know, there's all kinds of worries. Tier 3, I'm going to lose power. I'm going to yep. lose performance, yep. you know. How do you sort of assuage those fears and how do you make sure you don't lose those? Well, fears? I think the, the key thing is we've been doing this technology since 1997. So we have a leg up. And uh, with the refinements, we've used the base engine that we've been using all along, which is proven, uh, as we call it, the legend, the Ironman. It is a proven technology, a proven engine. And so the refinements are things such as increasing the pressure in our common rail fuel mm -hmm. to uh, get a better uh, uh, mixture. And uh, so it's not foreign to us. We've already had it running in different engine uh, packages and construction and industrial. So it's already proven technology uh, out in other, other fields. Sure. Now, you know, Tier 4 is coming down the pipeline. Yep. You know, there's always more concern about fuel costs. You yep. know, they want to use as little fuel as possible. It's yep. expensive stuff. Yep. You know, what's in the pipeline and, you know, what are you doing to make sure that you're ready for that? Well, um, in the, um, every time you, uh, you increase your emissions reduction, then fuel, they, they take more fuel, so they can be as much as five, six, seven percent loss when you go up to your next level. In the case for uh, MTU, when we went from uh, uh, EPA tier two to three, we only had a two percent uh, uh, fuel burn rate uh, going up. Uh, when we go to tier four, we will uh, be employing SCR, okay. and with the SCR, uh, we will have the same engine, so our fuel burn will not change. And for our readers who don't know what SCR stands SCR for? SCR is urea injection. And so what we're doing is we're running, uh, mixing some urea in the exhaust, and uh, with that, uh, it helps reduce the, uh, the NOx, which is uh, part of the requirements. And then we see the particulate matter. Some, some folks are going to have to use our particulate trap filters to mm -hmm. catch the particulate matter. We see it as an uh, in-cylinder. We weren't going to have to deal with that. Okay, great. Well, we'll be looking forward to that coming down the pipeline. Thanks for being yep. here today, Jeff. Yep, Th appreciate you coming in, Sam. All Thank right. you. And thanks you all for watching. We'll see you next time at workboat.com. So, you can take it. Well, I hope so. That won't get on.